Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD Summer for Four. So today, guys, we're going to be my Barcelona versus Atletico Madrid match preview. It's been a while since we did a match preview on the channel, a full video. So let me explain how this is going to work. So basically, any big game that Barcelona may play from now on, I will do a video for it. And any video that any game that Barca is playing, it's kind of like a you know like a team that we really should be beating. I would probably do like a YouTube short or something like that. So like I said, guys, this is only going to be for the big games. I'll go. Uh, full screen so let's go ahead and get started man so remember guys to like this video if you did enjoy subscribe for you on here comment down below your thoughts and i want to reach 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year so please like i said man hit that target hit that like button hit the subscribe button so it will really really help the channel and it's going to be amazing so because man we have a great community here man great great community here anyways let's go ahead and get on to the video so as you guys can see right here this is a predicted 11 according to football up here so um, Pedri and De Jong are back, which is amazing. That is obviously a very, very good news to see. Um, and so, yeah, unfortunately, Dembele is still out for the game, and I think Christensen is still out. So we're going to still play Alonso at center back, you would imagine. Roberto's obviously out as well. Now, for Atletico Madrid, players to look out for Griezmann. Antoine Griezmann's been in insane form this season. He's been coming up clutch this year in particular, and he's going to want to make a statement of proof, especially against his former club, I would imagine. Another player to look out for is um i would also look out for molina he's been one of their best right backs of the uh, world obviously he won the world cup with argentina so he's me a player to look out for and yeah man so these are the players to look out for now for atletico madrid they do have some players suspended conogby is suspended marcus lorente suspended so it's gonna be very interesting to see how this one pans out i'm really keen to see how barcelona does with de Jong in the midfield i think de Jong will add so much presence that is necessary to this team and we can finally see Barca play really well because it's been a while since we've seen Barca be attack-minded and goal-scoring because you could see the creativity is not there, and I think De Jong and Pedri can add. Now, the question of Xavi is, will he start both of them in this kind of manner of a game? Now, I think for me, De Jong should start. I think De Jong is a player that should start the game. I don't think his he has a problem. Now, Pedri I'm a bit concerned with because I am worried that if we start Pedri in this game, he may get a relapse, and I really don't want Pedri to get a relapse, especially against where he's been out for so long now. I think he hasn't played since that Man United first like game, which was like in February. So it's it's been nearly like um, two months. So I really would not start Pedri in this game. Maybe have him come off the bench in the, at the second half. You know, maybe come on for Kessie, as the football mom is saying here. But I wouldn't start him in this game. I wouldn't start him in this game because, like I said, guys, the worry, the the fact he could get a relapse is very, very shocking. and very. It would be very, very heartbreaking for us Barca fans. We couldn't handle it. We couldn't handle it. So... Like I said, guys, I'm really, really scared here because Atletico Madrid have been in really, really good form, guys. I think ever since February, guys, and the league, they haven't lost a game in the league since uh, we beat them, I think. I think we were the last team to beat them in the league. Um, so as you guys can see here, um, yeah, I think we were the last team to beat them in the league. So that was Jeremy 8. So since then, man, they've gone undefeated in the league, which is very commendable for them. And they've been amazing, man. They have been absolutely superb this season. Um, the second half of the season, they've come out of clutch. You know, with their goals and everything. And I just think that this Atletico Madrid team, they're just looking so well organized, so well motivated and everything. And obviously, Memphis Depay is another player to look out for. You know, former Barcelona player as well. He's going to probably come off the bench as well and everything. Actually, he's injured, so he's doubtful to be in the game. So, let's go look at the insights for this one. That'll give you guys my prediction. So, Barcelona versus Atletico Madrid. So, this is the insights leading up to the game. Now, there is a new player that's been called up to the team, Lamas the Yamal. He's a 15-year-old bright youngster, so I'm not sure if he's going to be playing this game, but he may, okay? So, Barcelona 49% to win, draws 28%, Atletico Madrid is 23% to win. Here's the insights. Barcelona won their last two La Liga games against Atletico Madrid, having failed to win their previous four against them. After winning 1-0 in reverse fixture this season, Barcelona can win both meetings in the same campaign in the competition against Los Rob Blancos for the first time. Roy Blancos for the first time since 15 and 16. 2 1 away and 2 1 at home. After back to back defeats at Camp Nou against Atletico Madrid in 2005 2016, Barcelona now lost any of the last 16 home games against Luis, Los Roy Blancos in the competition. Their second longest unbeaten run to them in the, to the 20 in October 1960. Win 15, draw 5. Barcelona have drawn 0 0 the last two La Liga games. They haven't picked up three straight draws in competition since December 2016 and haven't had three goals draws in a row since the top flight in the top flight since April 1989. Atletico Madrid have won their last six La Liga games. They're joint best current run by a team in Europe's top five leagues, along with Manchester City in the Premier League. I'm telling you, man, they're the most they're one of the most informed teams right now in the world. Barca have failed to score any of their last three 
games in all competitions, 44 shots in total. Only on three previous occasions have they failed to score in four successful games, most recently in April 2008 under Frank Reichard. So this is a very tricky game, guys. A very tricky game to call because we know Atletico Madrid are very, very well res resolute defensively. And we know how much we struggled against them in the reverse fixture. And that we pretty much parked the bus in the second half and pretty much got the draw. I mean, sorry, got the win. Got the three points. My prediction for this one, guys, I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. I feel as though that Barcelona will have enough to win. I just don't really see how Barcelona can score enough goals. And I feel like we're going to score... However, it'll be from a set piece, and I feel like Atletico Madrid will score from open play. I feel like they will score from open play. I think we're actually going to take the lead, and I think Atletico will actually peg us back in the second half and get that uh, goal um, from open play. Um, I think, like, I feel like Koke and uh, Griezmann will combine to score. I have a feeling Griezmann will score for some reason. Um, and for Barca, I will say for us, something tells me it's going to be a header. I, I feel like maybe Alonso might score from a header. I, I don't know why. There's something tells me that might happen. So. Whatever the case may be, man, it's going to be a very interesting... Basically, as long as we don't lose this game, I think we're basically going to win La Liga because the thing is with Real Madrid is that they're playing later today. When are they playing, actually? Let me check. Real Madrid is playing uh, today against Celta Vigo. So, yeah, I mean, they're, like Barcelona need to keep winning, man, because we haven't won in a while, and I really don't want to take this league to the final match day where we basically get confirmed because we're playing against Celta Vigo away. And I know for one thing that we're... I'm not sure we're going to beat Celta Vigo away. I'm just not sure if we can. So, like I said, guys, I hope we can just get the job done um, before then. Uh, but, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens. So, yeah, as you guys can see, the current table, guys, we are currently leading by 11 points. 11 points. So, like I said, guys, if we can get a win tomorrow, that will really, really strengthen us. Even a draw, I wouldn't be too fussed with. As long as we don't lose. I think if we lose, we're, it's not looking that great because 8 points, man. Ooh, it's, it's looking interesting, man. It's looking interesting. But anyways, um, I think that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Remember, guys, like this video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new out here. Comment below your thoughts. Comment section below. And I will try to have a live match reaction for tomorrow's game. Although it will be very, very brief because I have to leave to a restaurant um, at that time. So it will be like around a 10 to 15 minute review if I do a review. And if I'm not, there will be, I will try to do one uh, maybe the following day or like a, a recorded video. So I'll let you guys know. That's all that happening tomorrow, guys. So, like I said, guys, like this video if you enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. Here. Comment down below your thoughts. Comment section below. Consider becoming a member of the channel to get access to members' videos and member streams. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. And also hit that bell on notification to get not to to be notified whenever I upload a video or go live. And also check out me on the platforms in the description below. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.